Before we go into our lesson, shall we put our hands together, close our eyes, and pray. Father, Lord God, we thank you for today. We glorify your name. Thank you for looking after us throughout the week, bringing us back again to come and land your, at your feet. Father, come and plant your word in our heart. Come and bless us today, O Lord. Save our soul. Sanctify us. Fill us with your spirit. Make us ready for heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, we go into our lesson. Thank you. Good morning, children. Welcome to Primary Park class. May God come and bless us all today. Amen. We are studying lesson 3C, titled The Right Way. Shall we all say that after the count of two? One, two the right way well done our memory verse is oh come let us worship and bow down let us kneel down before the lord our maker psalm 95 verse 6 amen our bible reading is taken from psalm 119 verse 11 and Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 to 13. Let's open to Psalm 119, verse 11. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Amen. Now let's open to Matthew chapter 6. Then we are reading from verse 9. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 9. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive, as we forgive our debtors. 13. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is thy kingdom, and thy power, and thy glory, forever. Amen. Right. In our story lesson of today, we learned about a girl, a little girl, who wanted to make cookies. And what happened? The mother went to go and get a recipe for her, so that the cookies can be nice. And guess what she did? When the mom left, Guess what she did, children? She did not follow that recipe, you know. She just did it her own way. She left the right way and did it her own way. So may God help us to do things the right way. And what happened? The cookies didn't come out well. When the mother tasted it and when she herself tasted it, it didn't taste well at all. So this is what happened when we do not do things the right way. So may God help us to do things the right way and when we do it the right way it will come out very well and we will be happy that we've done the right thing amen let us watch this video clip children so kim then why did to school today i played football with max what did you do at school today oh i played some games and i did skipping I play with the equipment. So, our lesson for today is a girl who did, who baked cookies the and wrong it, way. And, and she, and it didn't taste good. The lesson was called the white way. And so, when she baked the cookies the wrong way, her mother tasted them and, and she was shocked. And now we understand the importance when we don't, know the right thing to do we should ask jesus and then he would help us amen amen also children god wants us to be his close friends like we watch on that video clip those two friends talking together how can we become god's close friend which way is the right way 
Yes, we can become glo close friends with God when we are praying to Him, when we are learning our memory verses, when we are listening to our Sunday school teacher, when we are listening to our parents when they are reading the Word of God to us at home, huh? and when we are reading the Word of God every day, we can become God's close friends. And when we invite other people to church, we can become God's close friend because they too will come and worship God. When we do all these things, that is the way to worship God. That means we are worshiping God and that is the way to become his close friends. And God will be happy with us. And we can tell him to come into our hearts and he will save our soul and make us ready for heaven. Hmm? But children, it's very important that we talk to God every day. Anywhere we go, wherever we are, we talk to God. And the more we talk to Him every day, we got closer and closer and closer. Before you know, we become close friends with God. And before we ask Him anything, He will answer us. He will answer our prayer. When we pray for Daddy and Mom, pray for our friends, God will answer the prayer. But He wants us to become His close friend. He wants us to worship Him. He wants us to sing praises. Use our instrument to praise his name. And he will bless us. And remember our key statement for today's lesson is ways to worship. And in our uh, Bible's reading, God has taught us as well how to pray to him. So today, we will pray and God We bless and answer our prayer. Amen. And that will be the end of our lesson the activities for today's lesson for ages two to five is match the numbers and write the first letter of each of these things on the lines below on that picture you can see that's what you need to do and for ages six to eight is uh, a prayer list it says pray for our friends is a very special way of showing our love. Ask three people if they have anything special they would like you to pray about for them. List their names and prayer requests below. So you see their names and the requests you put it there. God bless you all. See you next week. Bye-bye. class is that time again of review how much do you remember from what we've been learning about throughout this whole quarter don't worry if you don't remember much we shall go through it but I'm sure you still remember something but before we continue we have some selected verses to remind us that's from 2nd Peter chapter 2 I'll just read verse 5 to 8 Verse 5, and beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to your virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you, and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, some people are beginning to remember. Actually, I can name this quarter review God's Project. God has been using some lessons just to teach us how a Christian needs to be built, to be strong. I'm sure none of us wants to be weak. We all want to be strong, mature Christian. What can you see on that picture? Yeah, that's a building project. You can see brick upon brick. You know, the builders, they take their time. 
after laying a solid foundation, they start laying brick upon brick to make sure the building is strong. I'm sure most of your houses, they're all strong because the builders, they were patient enough to lay all the bricks that were needed. So as a Christian as well, this whole quarter, God has been teaching us how a Christian can be built so that he or she can be strong. Like I, like I said, you know, builders, they make sure there's a foundation. All of us, we shouldn't miss that foundation. The foundation of any person to be called a Christian is to be saved from a life of sin. If we have sin in our hearts, we need to confess it and ask Jesus to forgive us. And he's always ready to do that. You can actually do that this morning. So when you're saved, then you can start growing, laying brick upon brick. So in order for us to revise all that we've been learning about, I'm going to say we are going to emphasize 12 bricks. This quarter had 12 lessons, which are humility, forgiveness, obedience, faith, virtue, knowledge, temperance, patience, godliness, kindness, love, and thanksgiving. So I want you to take those as bricks that we need to lay one upon another. If you remember very well from the text that we read, Peter put it actually like uh, some kind of mathematics. Yes, I know not so many people like mathematics, but today's mathematics is very easy. We are not going to add numbers. We are going to add these Christian virtues and the answer is guaranteed. If all these are added well, the answer is Christian maturity. There's no way you do all these things and not be mature. So this is God's mathematics. Add all those virtues together and the answer is Christian maturity. Now, let's look into each of them. I'm sure you remember some of these lessons because we did them all. And if you miss them, don't worry, you'll still get something today. The first one we looked at was humility. Yes, God wants us to be, to be humble. He doesn't want people who are proud. You know, the basis of humility is knowing that we are not of ourselves. We can't even do anything by ourselves. If God does not allow anyone to do anything, we cannot do anything. So with that knowledge, you can never be proud. You always remember that to dust you came and to dust you shall return, and it is by his grace that we can accomplish anything. So whatever you find yourself able to do, just thank God. It's God who is helping you to do it. That will keep us humble, and we will never be proud, because God doesn't want us to be proud. I'm sure you remember that. And the other very important one, forgiveness. Yes, people can do wrong things to us, Yes, and it can be hurting sometimes, really hurting. But God wants us to forgive them. How many times? We don't even need to count the times. As many times as they hurt us, that's as many times as we should forgive them. If we don't forgive them, our own forgiveness is cancelled. Mm, we don't want our forgiveness to be cancelled. So that is the reason why we must forgive. Did you remember that? Well, yeah, we learned that. And obedience. Oh, this is the central lesson throughout the whole Bible. God wants us to listen to what he says. And then we do. Remember what happened in the very Garden of Eden? Disobedience is the cause of all sin. So God doesn't like disobedience. He wants us to obey. And what is to obey? Do exactly as you are told at the right time, the way we, you are supposed to do it. That is obedience, not in your own way or at your own time. That's something else. You remember that? Yes, that is very important because the word of God says, children, obey your parents in the Lord. 
all of us, with, we are children, we must obey God. Faith, oh, without it, it is impossible to please God. We must believe, believe the word of God. When, say, when the word of God says something, we must believe it because we know it is true. If we doubt it, God is not happy with us. I'm sure you remember that lesson. Virtue, yeah, standing for something. Learning to say no. If you need to say no, we need to shout no. That's standing for something. Some standing for that which is right. God wants us to stand and not to be like a reed shaking everywhere. I'm sure you remember that. And knowledge. Hmm. It's important to learn the word of God and then do it. That will bring knowledge to make sense. If you just know and know and know and know and not do what you know, that cannot be called knowledge. So we need the wisdom of God to be able to do what the word of God says. Did you remember we learned about that? I'm sure you do. Tempers fled. Mm, I don't forget that lesson. Those boys, they couldn't control their temper. But God wants us to be temperate in all things. That was one of the lessons. Temperance. We must exercise self-control in all things. What we say, how we say, what we do, where we go. Everything has to be temperate. Did you remember that? And sticking with it. You know, some things, they are not easy. Some things, they take time. But God wants us to be patient. He wants us to wait. Yes, I remember this lesson because the teacher actually quickly boiled eggs. She didn't wait. And what happened? The eggs were not done. So if you don't wait, we cannot enjoy anything from God. We need to learn to wait. That was a lesson about patience. I'm sure you remember that one. And the other one we did recently was godliness in all things. God wants us to be godly and God wants all people to be godly. The young, the old, the servants, all of us. And the basis of being godly is knowing that we want to make heaven our home. That's what will make us to be godly in all things. We want to please God. That's what it means. In everything we want to please God. It's my God. Remind us to be godly in all things. Kindness. Who doesn't want a kind word? Who doesn't want a kind person? So in as much as we expect that from others, we too should be godly. We should be kind. We need to be kind one to another. Brotherly kindness. That was one of the lessons. I'm sure you remember that. The greatest of them all. Love. God is love, so he also wants us to love one another. And love, it is best expressed through actions. Even God has had to act. That's why the verse says, For God so loved the world that he gave. He gave his only begotten son. So may God help us to express our love to one another by doing those actions of love. I'm sure we will never forget this because it's the greatest of them all to love. And lastly, to be thankful in all things. Right now, I'm thanking you for listening to this lesson. And for activity, you need to tick which sentence is true and which one is false. God bless you. For our next week's lesson, we are starting a new unit, which is unit six. And the lesson is, it took a miracle now we need to pray because we have come to the end of our lesson let's pray lord jesus we want to thank you this morning we thank you lord for the primary powers lesson we thank you for the review you have reminded us what we learned i pray lord jesus that you help us that we remember all these christian virtues so we continue to grow in jesus name we pray amen 
Bye. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining today's Sunday School. We hope and pray you enjoyed. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye.